This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's another puzzle from Katrina Ag. It says the biggest square has an area of 18. What's the total area of all four squares? If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, I want to look at the squares. These squares are all stacked on top of each other. Let's pull out this green one, the red one, and the orange one. And here are the four squares they're talking about. It tells the largest one has an area of 18, and we don't know the areas of the other ones. Next, let's assign some variables. Let's have the side of the largest square be A. This one has side B. And for the other ones, we'll do C and D. So we can say the area of this orange square is equal to B squared. The red one has an area of C squared, and the green one has an area of D squared. And that's just by doing the base times the height. We can also assign values to the diagonals of these. Since it's a square, we know this is a right angle and the base has a length of B. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We can look at the notes of a 45, 45, 90 right triangle and see the hypotenuse has a length of B root two. So our goal is to find out what is the area if we add up all of these squares. So we're looking for A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. Next, let's look at the figure and I want to extend the rest of this circle. And let's reflect the orange square down here and the red square down here. I'm noticing that the corners of the squares intersect at parts of the circles. So that means we can use the intersecting chords theorem. It says that if two chords of a circle intersect, you can say this times this equals this times this. And it doesn't matter where the chords are, this is true for any two chords. And if we line them up just like this, that'll match with this up here. This chord lines up with the sides of the squares and this chord lines up with the diagonals of the squares. So we can figure out what this would be. So first let's do the Z and the W. The Z is the side of a red square and that's gonna be equal to C. So we'll change this Z into a C. And then the W is also a side of the red square. So we can change this W into C. And then for the X and the Y, these are diagonals of the squares. So for the Y, let's get rid of the red square. The Y is the diagonal of this orange square. And we discovered earlier that the diagonal of the orange square is equal to B root two. So in the place of this Y, let's plug in B root two. And then the X up here, let's get rid of this other stuff. The X is the diagonal of the green square, and that would be equal to D root two. So we can change this X into D root two. Now we can simplify this. For the left-hand side, rearrange this as root two times root two times B times D. And root two times root two is equal to two. So the left-hand side is gonna be two BD. And then the right-hand side is gonna be equal to C times C, which is C squared. And C squared is the area of our red square. So this is super important. Let's put a box around it. So now we have our C squared. Let's try to get our hands on an A squared, a B squared, and a D squared. So this largest square has a side length of A. And then the little green square has a side length of D. And then this distance right here is the side of the orange square. We can hide this red one a little. The length of this orange square is equal to B. So we know this side length A will be equal to length B plus D. Well, now we have A, B, D, and C squared. So we gotta get these squared somehow. But we can do that by squaring both sides of the equation. We can use the notes for a perfect square trinomial and that'll break out into B squared plus 2BD plus D squared. Now, are you as excited as I am? We know that 2BD is equal to C squared. So in the place of this 2BD, we can plug in C squared. So now we have A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared plus D squared. That is elegant. And then we know A squared is equal to 18. So we can say 18 is equal to B squared plus C squared plus D squared. Well, this is the sum of our remaining three squares. This is super important. Let's put a box around it. Now we're ready to answer the question. A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. A squared we know is equal to 18 and B squared plus C squared plus D squared is also equal to 18. And 18 plus 18 is equal to 36. Let's give it a label of square units and put a box around it. We have now answered the question. The area of these four squares is equal to 36 square units. How exciting. I really love how this problem all came together. I think it was brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the best way to learn. I love solving problems like the one in this video, and brilliant is a great way to learn the skills to do that. And it's a great way to start a daily habit of learning. Get daily practice on skills similar to the ones used in this video. They have tons of algebra and geometry courses, and with enough practice, you'll notice all these skills will come naturally. If you want to check out any of the courses on Brilliant.org, they have a free 30-day trial. You can visit Brilliant.org slash AndyMath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.